it's Jamie from Lady May Ricky Designs. So today I'm coming to you with a different type of video, but a type of types of videos that I am passionate about, which is cleaning and organizing. So today we are organizing my kitchen. I've definitely let it just get unorganized and messy. And so today I just want to tidy everything up. We're going to be painting the insides of my cabinets to make them look fresh. And yeah, y'all see that poor, poor snack cabinet? Yeah, it's pretty bad. So, of course, the first thing that I decided to do was take everything, everything out of my cabinet. So, as you can see, the top portion of the cabinet was getting kind of dirty so I just wanted to wipe everything down get all crumbs or anything out before I painted scrub 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 oh and I got this um it's like I guess a liner I don't know the cabinet liner I got it from Dollar Tree I loved it this is the top of my Benna hood gross don't worry after I wiped it with that dry one I'm like what am I doing why didn't I spray any product on there so after I did spray it down with some disinfectant and gave it a good wipe down this is the paint that I use for like all kinds of touch-ups in my house and I definitely did not mean to do that <laughs> I was looking at the paintbrush through the camera and not the actual paintbrush so I definitely went in too deep but oh, that's what she said <clears throat> But yeah, so this is just the paint that I use just whenever, you know, the kids decide to, you know, draw on something or if things just get scuffed up. I use it on my doors, on my trim, and my cabinets, in the bathroom, and in the kitchen. So I'm all done. Now I just have to wait until everything is nice and dry. So of course I can just put everything right back in. Yep, that mess. <laughs> I gotta figure out how I wanna put it all in there. And now while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle my other cabinet that I usually use for glasses and plates. I guess I decided not to film that part. So this is just me organizing everything. And just remember, it might not work for you, but it works for me and my family. So this is how we like our cabinet. And we don't have, you know, I don't really like a lot of containers, but you know, you do you boo boo and I'm gonna do me. And that's just how we are gonna do it, all right? All right. One thing I wanted to do was get rid of all the chip bags because we had like a couple open chip bags and we don't I don't have any chip clips for some reason they always get lost so I did have some ziplocs on hand so I just like threw all those extra chips and ziplocs don't mind my son Hulk mask he loves that thing so we try to keep it around and off the floor but yeah so this is how I decided to organize everything make sure everything was visible with all the labels pointing towards me the upstairs cabinet like above my stove that's just what I put like extra stuff that I don't need at the moment because I don't know why I don't know if anybody else's husband does this but he they always go to the store and buy multiples of things that we already have like at one point we had three picante sauces up there and I was like look dude stop it <laughs> stop it so we I, currently I think that was like two mustards and two Reese's chocolates I don't know all right so now I'm getting started on the dreaded snack cabinet for the snack cabinet I really just wanted to get a lot of, of the like half empty boxes out we have a bunch of fruit snacks our kids love fruit snacks so we have multiple boxes of those so I wanted to kind of marry two of them together and just make sure like everything with because it goes it's a pretty deep cabinet 
So I wanted everything super close so I can oh, I can reach everything. You see, like, to, for me to reach everything, I have to get on a chair. So it's just easier to, like, make sure everything's pushed forward. Just like that. Bing, bing, bing. It's much prettier now, you know, and you can see I have all that empty space. I tend to hide uh, mine and taste snacks back there <laughs> so the kids don't see it. And now for my least favorite chore, the dishes. <laughs> I can't be the only person that would be willing to clean their entire house and then leave their dishes for someone else to hopefully come along and do. But today, it was my turn, which I don't mind. Even though it's really hard to do, I try to do the dishes every day. Or at least, even if sometimes me and Tay will go back and forth, but if one of us doesn't do it, the other one will try to do it because it just, you know, they'll pile up. And then like, nobody wants to do those two day old dishes, nobody. So thankfully, this was after uh, breakfast and lunch. So I didn't have that many dishes to do. Wash a wash a wash a wash a wash a wash I wish it took like how fast it was and sped up. I wish it was like that in real life because I promise it takes forever. don't talk about my pots they all just like me so uh, let's, let's just not talk about it and I don't know if I'm not y'all tell me am I the only person that does this because Tay thinks I'm so weird like there could be toys or clothes anything on the floor and I will literally just sweep it all in one pile like I won't go around and like you know bend down pick it up here bend down pick it up here like once it's all in a pile then I will like put it in categories and put it where it needs to go what are you guys do? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right of course Mr. Snackhead had it come it's still a snack but he told me my kitchen looked good so I'm gonna let it slide all right, so this is the final result. I know it's not perfect, but it is perfect for us. So if you like videos like this, you know what to do. Bye.